Photo books are just one of the coolest ways to compile uh, photography together. Today, I wanted to take a second to talk about why. My name is Isaac Jarnigan. I'm an entrepreneur, podcaster, content creator. Your name's Iowa. Although my, my life has seemed to head in a different direction besides just photography, that is the first thing that I did creatively. As a kid, I had to figure out what I wanted to really try at and what I was getting the most out of. I tried really, really hard at school, but the ceiling of that was getting good grades, and that wasn't a high enough ceiling for me. I tried working really hard at my jobs, but the ceiling for that is you get a thumbs up and maybe a few more dollars an hour or something, and I wasn't really content with that. Fast forward to when I was 16 years old, January 27, 2019, I decided that I was officially done living for other people's needs, kind of society's needs, and uh, start living for, for kind of the needs that, that I had in my heart that I wanted to try out. Um, and my first attempt at that was a clothing brand. And once I had a clothing brand, I really wanted to take dope pictures of people wearing my shirts. So I bought my first camera for $500 off of my cousin. It was a great deal. Um, and ever since then, clothing brand aside, I had a camera on me and was taking dope photos. Photography was the first way where it seemed like any sort of my ambition paid off. Um, I was able to take these dope photos and present them in a cool way. And then my photography skills, people in my community really needed for their projects. And it's like, wait, you want these skills and these skills are valuable to you and you want to use them? That's sick. Like, it's paying off. So photography was the first thing for that for me. The, the goal of that rant was to tell you um, kind of where photography started for me. One of the coolest ways to present your work is a photo book. And that is the coolest. The second coolest is to make prints. Boom, print, me in Colorado print of me in uh, Signal Hill, Signal Hill, California. Let's hope these don't glare. This is Laguna Beach, California, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is Clear Lake, Iowa with some, with some buddies, with some family friends. Uh, in this digital world, it's really easy to keep your photography in the digital landscape uh, just on pixels and that's all you see in a minute. And it, uh, does it connect you as further with your photography? I mean, it's just pixels. Uh, you just see them on a screen and then you leave them and you never see them again if you want to. Now prints, you can touch them. You can move them around and see them in different lights and see different details. And uh, obviously, looking around my room every day, I see memories every day. Um, go one step further to have a really cool sit down section, you got photo books and you can convey projects or stories through these things in ways you can't do with prints or you can't do with digital photos. Uh, and so here's my three I have, and I'm just gonna talk about you know what's in them. Now, it's not the biggest collection ever, and two of them are actually ones I made uh, years ago. But let's start with the one that's not mine. When I started photography, I got into photography YouTube. There's so many cool creators that make so many cool different types of photography content. One of those creators that's less active on social media, I think he does Instagram quite a bit, is Joe Greer. He's done several different photo books. Um, one of them is about New York City. This book is called Lay of the Land and it talks about how photography uh, helped him get through childhood trauma and, and taught him how to life. Um, really deep book, really cool. How did I get this book? There is this dent in it. Um, my cousin bought this book and it had a little damage done to it. So he messaged and got a new one with no damage for free. And I'm like, well, shoot, I like this guy. Can I have the other one? My cousin's like, sure. Now it's in my room, it's great. But just look how sick this is. This is the cover. Look at this pink color. I hope it comes out in the edit that I poorly colored there. Lay of the land. You literally do whatever you want with it. You can make the text however you want. Look at this beautiful photo. You got Joe Greer. He chose to put it in no caps. Oh, that's so cool. You got like a blue and pink tone here on the side. I mean, there's just so many cool details to it. Um, it's like a, an adult picture book. You can put the pages like this and have your huge photo go through or whatever. Look at how sick this is. I mean, it's top quality. The paper is slick to the touch. The cover is as hard as a rock. 
Um, it's just fun to feel. But one thing you can do with photo books is paint a journey with your photos. Um, you can put photos here randomly, and then you can put text here and talk about why this photo means anything to you. Um, which most photographers don't have the chance to do when you just post a one caption thing on social media. Um, the only way you can do it is have a conversation about it in real life with people close to you, or you can uh, make a book and have it right there so you can just read about it. Let's just show some bangers. Here's ones from the Tetons. Look at this. Ooh, baby. I don't know if that's the Tetons as well, but I know this is the Tetons. I mean, look how sick that is, bro. Are you kidding me? Look at that. I mean, he's excellent. This is more of a story than most photo books are, but it's just beautiful about how he got screwed over early in life. And well, he found, found God through it. He moved on. He kept pushing through and he became one of the coolest photographers ever that I know of at least. I mean, due to dog. Um, that's photo book number one. Photo book number two. Hey, it's your boy Isaac. It's your boy Isaac Jarnigan. You can't really see me because um, I'm in the shadow, but you can see my glasses, the little, oh, I can't, the little, um, you can see my glasses, that little round part right there. I mean, those are kind of the same style of glasses as this. Um, as you can see, I took a lot of inspo from Joe Greer's book and I call it Finding Motive. Um, this book as described on the back is a visual collection of me going to a variety of different places and trying a variety of different things in hopes of finding my motive. What I meant by that was finding my reason to push hard in this brutal, brutal life that can be brutal. It's beautiful too, but mostly brutal. <laughs> um, and I'd say, I'd say I found my rhythm of finding it, which is cool to say. Um, but during these photos, I had no idea. I was just taking photos for fun. Now, this isn't as cool quality of a book, but it does display my photos. Um, and it's super cool getting to open these up and seeing Chicago, Chicago stairway. I was on a mission trip, so I had all these trim uh, blue taped off. I don't know how to point. This is a skill. I don't know how to point while looking reverse at a screen, but it doesn't matter at all. Um, and here's my dog that's way younger, and there's Chicago doors. I mean, this is how passionate I get when I open this thing up. And there's no real text in this one. This one's just photos, but it's some of my favorite photos I've taken so far. I'll just open a random few more pages and talk about them. This is Gulf Shores, Alabama. Both of these photos were taken on film. I believe that this is the building that I stayed in. And then this is just a random side street. Uh, all turned out beautifully on film. I'm thinking of another photo that I see right here. And this is one of my favorite photos of all time. This scoops photo right here. Um, the O is not lit and it's an ice cream place that we went to because my sister-in-law really likes ice cream and it just turned out so sick. Finding motive, absolute gem of a thing that I always have sitting in my room right over there. I mean, woo, so good. Right by the lay of the land. Third photo book is Freeway to Signal Hill. Also by me, I won't say like I, I wrote it. I mean, I guess I wrote it. Is that how you say that? I literally just uh, went to a service online and designed one and printed them out. Um, nothing more special to that, but here's the cover. Freeway to Signal Hill. There's the signal, kind of. <laughs> and then the back, it says, a visual record of a 27 mile journey from Orange, California to Signal Hill, California. Right at what it was. I was staying with my cousin who lives in Southern California. I've done that for the last six years, it's been great. But one of the years we decided, oh my gosh, Isaac, I wanna show you Signal Hill. And I said, sure. And so my cousin and his girlfriend and I, we all rode to Signal Hill. Now the fun part about that was I took my camera with me and I had my camera just, you know, sticking toward the window, taking shots of everything I saw with it. Um, the photographs were all taken on June 21st, 2022. How do I know that? Written right here. I just ripped a seam, but whatever. 
That's unfortunate. And this one, I actually had some text in it. Talked about what we were up to and why. Here's how like orange it was outside. Like I definitely sold the orange a little bit, but it was during golden hour. I mean, these are just streets and beautiful. I think California infrastructure is beautiful for some reason, even though sometimes it's kind of gross. It's still beautiful, if that makes sense. Uh, Here's some more photos, dude. I just literally took these while we were driving. It was insane. Um, what are some other good ones? These were some of the last freeway ones. And then the next page, I actually made it to Signal Hill, which is, this is the cover photo right here, which I used the full page to display. It was fun being describing how I wanted to, you know, display the photos. And then from there, I just got beautiful views of the hill and being able to put these photos all in one book makes it so easy to just browse through and remember besides just looking through a file on my uh, computer. Because uh, like I said, it's just not as good. Here's the photo I have right there. Um, and then here's me and my cousin Alec, uh, you know, all shadowed up looking at the view of Long Beach, which you can see from Signal Hill. Um, like I've said about 80 times, I'm not gonna be this excited talking about it if I have it pulled up on my computer. Um, that's the beauty of photo books. Now, these personal ones are a little more beautiful to me because they're my stories, but uh, every page I turn and like Joe Greer's or other creators that you know I've seen online or whatever, I just say like, this is freaking dope. This is dope. Every page I open, this is dope. Well, this video is more of a chill one. I, I mostly just said a lot of words, but uh, hopefully you took something from it. Uh, like I said, I've been putting out weekly podcasts, newsletters, YouTube videos, and, and daily reels on every other platform. Um, would love for you to check that out. And ultimately, would just love to connect with you. Um, if you have any questions on photo books or recommendations, I'll try my hardest. I mean, I've been out of the scene for a little bit, but I love talking to talk. Uh, but all that aside, uh, I'll see you here next week. Um, it's been a pleasure. Peace, love, tranquility. Have a good one. Frick yeah.